Assalamu alaikum. My name is Matthew. I'm from France. I'm 22 years old. And I was born in the north east of France, close to Belgium. And from the age of 13, I moved to southwestern coast. And now I'm studying at university in fourth year, that is to say, in Master of Business Administration. And I'm currently involved in a career at the Victoria University of Wellington, thanks to an agreement between my university and this University of New Zealand. And I'm doing, I'm going on my, my study here about Master of Business Administration. And I would like in the future to be involved in international business. My dad doesn't believe in God. And my mom is a Catholic, but she doesn't go every day to the church. So I didn't receive any teaching about religion at the beginning. And the first teaching about religion was about Islam, thanks to my friends, my family, and then, and then uh, all the Muslim guys I know from Morocco, Turkey, Algeria, Tunisia. Fortunately, I was living in a place where some e immigrants were, were living. So as I told from Algeria, Morocco, Turkey, Tunisia, and it was all of my friends and I was the only French in the groups and we were doing some sport together and this, this day when I started knowing more about Islam we were playing football and the feasibility that came in the field and we stopped playing and they started speaking about Islam, it was like that at the beginning I was outside the group when they spoke about Islam and the feasibility guy told me to come and then he invited me to, to come to the mosque to, to discover a little about religion and I came and I started being interested like that. And then I decided to, to come back and to pray, to ask a lot of people about Islam and I was more involved in this religion. Yeah, I would say that I was very interesting because I didn't know anything and it was surprising to see people, for example, fasting and not to eat anything for one month. I was wondering how I was able to do that. And for example, for the Ramadan or even different manifestation about Islam after Ramadan Eid and everything like that, it was, it was amazing. And finally I decided to learn about this religion. And I was very young and they were surprised that my parents were agreed to, to my convert to, to Islam. And yeah, then they considered me as their child because they wanted to help me a lot and they didn't want me to let down as well. So they considered me as part of their, of their family. So it was very interesting. Fortunately, for, with my parents, if I compare to other guys trying to convert about Islam, they had a lot of problems with their family. But fortunately, my parents were very hard going, so they let me choose what I wanted to do. And at the same time, they wanted me to, to stay in a safe place. And the mosque for them was a safe place because I wasn't in the street insulting people, stealing or fighting with some guys, so they preferred me to stay in the mosque than being in the street. Yeah, I think that Islam was a very good thing for me. It brought me a lot about respecting people, my way of thinking and acting in life in general, because Islam as well encouraged the studies and the low knowledge and unfortunately for, for a few of my friends, they didn't try to be interested or to be involved in Islam and they finally start to be drug addicted or start drinking alcohol, relationship before getting married. And fortunately I managed to find Islam and it helps me a lot in my everyday life. I think that um, Islam is kind of... Um, a, a cure for needy people, for example. We have the example of people in prison 
who try to discover Islam and they manage to be a very good person then. And we have other example about people addicted to drug or to alcohol, they don't manage to find anything to, to let down. And when they discover Islam, they became very pure. And that's that's very very good cure and Allah is the most wonderful doctor you can find to, to look after you. If you manage to find him, he will help you a lot. Well, I would say that given that I became Muslim a few years ago, I never had any problem about being French and Muslim. But it's true that in Europe at the moment, people start frightening about the fact that Islam arrives very quickly to, to Europe and a lot of Europeans try to, to convert Islam. And in France, for example, business religious and business about the state are separated, so it's very difficult, for example, if for girls. They cannot be wearing with the headscarf at school. It's forbidden, except if you go to university then, you can be wearing with it. But before, no, it's forbidden. French people in general often believe what the media say about Islam, the fact that we are terrorists, the fact that um, we are polygamous, the fact that um, women are secondary, and it's not the case at all. So the French just believe what they heard, as on, they don't try to find by themselves what Islam deals with. They don't try to open the books, they just believe what they heard. And fortunately, people around me start understanding that Islam is not as bad as, as they believe because they know in my way of, be, uh, of behaving with them and my way of being like the fact that I'm a good student and everything that Islam is not as bad as, as they used to believe. And for my parents that's the same thing because I spoke with them a few months ago and we had very interesting discussion together and they told me that finally the fact to have found Islam was a good thing for me and and that I was very lucky, even if they, they're not Muslim at all. So, I had the chance to find Islam and I'm very happy at the moment and I hope everything will be okay for me, for the education of my children and my wife and everything. I just would like to, to say people, just be only interested in what people can say. Just try to know about yourself. Just open the book. It's not very difficult to read and to learn. Oh, you go to the internet on YouTube or something, you find something about Islam and inshallah it will, it will be helpful for you. And to conclude I would like just to thank God and to have given my parents very hard going. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Matthew, I'm 22 years old. I was born in France and I lived in North East close to Belgium and from the age of 13 I moved to southwestern coast. I'm the only child and now I'm st still a student at university in fourth year and I'm doing Master of Business Administration and I managed to find Islam at, from the age of nine years old and thanks to Fisa Bilillah coming in my in my city to speak about Islam and try to help peop needy people to come back in God's way. And I was very lucky to, to find them when I was young because I was in a lack of respect toward, toward people in general, my teachers and even my parents. And the fact to have found Islam helped me to, to be more respectful and to improve my way of thinking, my way of fighting because I, I just wanted to I just wanted then, after discovering Islam, to, to act in, to be good toward Islam. That is to say, for example, uh, just not to be satisfied for myself, but just to, to satisfy God and to hope and return His help.